digidapter, or Carl Zeiss dioscopes, is one of the quickest, easiest, simplest ways to take pictures through your dioscope. It takes most cameras, it's easy to set up, and it repeats itself time after time. We're here at Jack London State Park in California. And we're going to show you how to assemble the digidapter for Zeiss scopes and how to mount a camera on it. When you open your box, you'll find three parts. The camera platform, the inner and outer sleeve, which are come assembled in the box, and a bag of hardware parts. The first step is to remove the rubber eye cup from the eyepiece. Just twist it out, and then when you reach the end, keep twisting, and the whole thing unscrews. Lots of turns. Don't rush it. And there it is. And then you mount the inner ring. You want to take your finger and run it in the inside and feel the lip. The lip goes on this way with the lip out. Also, I don't know if you can see in there, but there are some rubber O-rings. Those are pre-lubricated, but just run your finger around to make sure that they are firmly seated for the first time you put it on. Put it over the eyepiece and with a slight twist, push it down until it seats firmly against the lip of the eyepiece. You'll be able to feel it click into place and then it's properly mounted. Then you're going to replace the rubber eye cup. Again, lots of turns, very fine threads. You'll feel it bottom out, twist it all the way down, tighten it slightly, and then you can use the eye cup normally. The next step is to assemble the camera platform to the outer sleeve. I'm going to put it on the scope. That makes it a little bit easier. And then there's some bolting to do, and I'll show you how it looks when it's done. It's easy. It just bolts right there. So in your bag of hardware, you're going to find two of these silver bolt sets. Notice that the back of the outer sleeve is machined so that the nut fits in the groove and then you don't need a wrench on the back side. Put the platform loosely. You have an Allen wrench to tighten them down, but don't tighten them down yet. Kind of center it so that it sits on the outer sleeve like that. Notice again that the Allen head end of the bolt faces you and the nut is held in the channel on the inside. The next step is to decide where the tripod screw goes for the camera. Now, you'll notice that there are multiple slots here. That's to accommodate different positions. On this camera, the tripod screw, the tripod socket is offset. So you need to be able to place it on the platform to match. So I'm gonna just set it on there and eyeball it. Now it needs to go about there, and then I'm going to look and see where the tripod socket is, and it's right in this slot. Notice that the ends of the slots are threaded. That's the only place you can insert the tripod screw. Once you've found the right slot, tip the whole thing up so you can see, and then carefully screw the tripod screw up through the platform until it rides free in the slot. If it doesn't screw in easily, it means you've probably got it cross-threaded. Don't force it with the tool. Back it out and carefully, just with finger, screw it in. Take your camera, place it on the platform, line up the tripod screw, and again, carefully, just hand tighten it. It should be roughly parallel with the back of the platform. As you can see, it's not yet centered. If I were to extend the lens, it would hit and not be centered in the sleeve. 
For this step, you're probably going to want to move the camera all the way to the back so that the zoom doesn't contact the outer sleeve as you turn it on. Turn the camera on. Now what you want to do is loosen the nuts on the platform and slide the platform up and down and left to right until you have the little circle of light from the lens centered on your LCD. And then loose, tighten it down just slightly. It's easier if you get it centered this time. Okay. Next, make sure that your zoom eyepiece is at the widest setting and that the camera zoom is at its, at its widest setting. Loosen the tripod screw and slide the camera in until you get a nice, sharp, clear outline. Tighten it finger tight. Again, check to make sure that the camera is roughly parallel with the end of the mount and that you're still centered in the LCD. And now you're just going to touch your zoom and see if you can zoom out the vignetting. Now some zooms will extend further when you touch the zoom. That's why we want to make sure that it's not going to hit the eyepiece because that will, could damage the camera. On this camera, it works very well. Just zoom it out and then you have the full range. You can zoom it all the way to the top and keep a full image. Tighten everything down. Make sure that all the parts are relatively square. The camera is sitting square on the platform. This juncture here is relatively square. If it's not, you may need to loosen things and readjust. Just go through it. The goal is to get that full nice circle, nice and sharp, on the LCD. Once it's set, then just insert your Allen wrench and Tighten these down. This is the only time you have to do this setup. Once these are tight, it'll remain where you put it. And finally, just holding the camera steady, tighten your tripod screw. Turn the camera back on to make sure nothing has slipped and you still have that nice round circle in the center and that you can still zoom it through its full range. One final strip, step. Locate your two stainless steel screws and brass nuts. These are going to go through the platform like so. And this provides a reference stop so that once you take the camera off to change the battery or to, to get your card out, you don't have to do this all over again. You just slide the camera up against the reference stops and it should be Good to go. You do need to remove the camera to remove the SD card or to change the battery. Simply make sure it's off. Loosen your tripod screw. Screw it all the way out. Remove the camera. Do what you need to do. To replace it, slide the camera, line up your tripod screw, slide the camera, or just begin to tighten it down, then slide it up against the pins, continue to tighten. Use your handy tool, and you're all set to go again. Then when you turn your camera back on, it's still all set to go right where you left it. field when you're using this, you're going to have to focus the scope first. So you'll slide the camera off, or if you're just observing, you probably won't have the camera on. 
focus and you're ready to take your shot, slide the outer sleeve over the inner, set the screw, zoom if necessary to get rid of the vignetting, and take your picture. Once you have your digi adapter set up and ready with your camera mounted, take it out in the field and take a lot of pictures. You'll soon gain confidence and you'll be taking amazing digiscope pictures with your Zeiss Dioscope.